Hello and welcome to the day ahead. It is Monday the 8th of August. I'm Andrew Gagan. Let's take a look at how the markets finished on Friday. Wall Street, uh, their investors digesting the latest jobs data out of the US with the unemployment rate falling to a pre-pandemic low. Six of the 11 primary S&P 500 sectors ending in the red, led by consumer discretionary and communication services. Meanwhile, energy was up around 2%. The likelihood of a more aggressive Fed also weighed on tech shares. Tesla tumbling after the solid jobs report torpedoed recent optimism. Facebook owner Meta and Amazon sliding on that news. And on the earnings front, Lyft surging almost 17% after the ride-hailing firm forecast an adjusted operating profit of $1 billion for 2024 after posting record quarterly earnings on the back of soaring demand for rides and its cost-cutting efforts. On an adjusted basis, Lyft earning 13 cents a share compared with estimates of 3 cent loss. Well, Berkshire Hathaway's operating profits jumped in the second quarter despite fears of slowing growth. The conglomerate's operating earnings totaling $9.2 billion, an increase of more than 38% year on year. However, the company posting a $53 billion loss on its investments during the quarter. As Chief Executive Warren Buffett again asked investors to not focus on the quarterly fluctuations. Well, the US Federal Reserve is set to remain aggressive in its monetary policy tightening in the face of an unexpected strength in the jobs market. The US economy adding 528,000 jobs last month, more than double the number forecast, while the unemployment rate fell to a pre-pandemic low of 3.5%. Average hourly earnings rose more than 5% on an annual basis. And consumer credit is also rising, growing by $40 billion in June, well above estimates. The data has eased concerns that the US economy is in recession, but amplified inflation concerns. US Treasury yields surging off the jobs numbers, with rate futures pricing in a 69% chance of a 75 basis point hike at the Fed's next meeting in September. The 10-year yield rising 15 points to 2.83, while the two-year jumped 19 points to near 3.23%. And the US dollar also surging in value, the Aussie dollar currently sitting at 69.7 cents. And China's export growth unexpectedly picked up in the last month in a sign the economy is recovering from a COVID-induced slump, exports rising 18% in July from a year earlier. Well, the Australian share market is expected to begin the week lower. ASX futures currently off one-tenth of a percent. The strong US jobs data pushed global oil prices higher, but uh, finished sharply lower over the week. Brent crude at around $95 a barrel. The iron ore futures climbed 2.5% to $109 a tonne, although it lost 5.5% over the past week. And base metal prices mostly higher at the end of the week, copper up 1.8%, while the gold futures price closed down around 1%. And Bitcoin remains in a trading range, currently just over 23,000 US dollars. Looking at the week ahead and household spending figures drop tomorrow along with weekly and monthly consumer confidence data and NAB's monthly business survey for July. Thursday weekly pay payroll data is out. And looking stateside, labour costs and productivity for the June quarter as well as US consumer inflation expectations. And on Wednesday we get US inflation data and also producer price index data out on Thursday. Rounding out the week with the University of Michigan's consumer sentiment with confidence near record lows. And locally, earnings season gathers momentum this week. Today, we have Horizon and Suncorp reporting. That is your day ahead. We'll see you again tomorrow.